Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. So I'm nice and clean shaven, but check this out, this hair. It's all over the place. For obvious reasons, I haven't been able to get to the barber lately. Sometimes you're just too busy, and then sometimes outside influences don't allow you to get to your barber. So he might be unavailable for whatever reason. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so you can see that my hair is very high, very fluffy, puffy. It's growing out all over the place, past the ears, whatnot. Thick eyebrows, nose hair, ear hair, the whole shot. Once you turn, <laughs> once you turn 30 or 40, that hair just starts coming from everywhere, doesn't it? Sad but true. I'm going to show you how I cut my hair, and I'll just show you the way I do it, and hopefully this works for you. If you have hair similar to mine, this will be good for you, and you can adjust it as you go along. You know, every clipper comes with different size comb guards that go on the end of it, so this is a wall cordless trimmer. I love this trimmer because it's cordless, and it has all the colors of the comb guards right on the face of it, but really, I just take a magic marker usually, and write it on the side of the blade, just so I know what it is. At a moment's glance, you can tell right away. First off, let me start by saying, there's no way you're gonna cut your hair as good as your barber does. I love my barber. He does a fantastic job. I'm sure you guys feel that way. When I leave the barber, I feel like, yeah, I'm looking good. I feel great, right? I'm sure you feel the same way. Your barber's worth his weight in gold. But whatever reason you can't get to him, he can't cut your hair. In between haircuts, you may try to do this on your own. So that being said, Joe, don't put out a contract on me like John Wick, all right? <laughs> okay, so here's my plan. I'm going to start with the clippers. I'm going to do 5, 4, 3, 2. I try to make it real simple. Just like in my 200 plus shaving videos, it's progressive beard reduction. This is progressive hair reduction. It's going to be the same deal, the same concept. So I'm going to use the five, which is yellow on mine, the four, which is orange, the three, which is blue, and the two guard, which is purple. So I'm going to start with the number five yellow right on top. What you want to do is I'm going to trim the top with this. No scissors. I'm going to make it simple, non-complicated, just the way we like it. So I'll start with the five, I'll do the top, and then I'm gonna do the sides with a four, all the way on the sides and back, and then I'll go with a three part of the way up, and then two, the three will be the upper portion, the two will be the lower portion. Kind of blend those together. And then we'll go around the ears, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, here we go, number five. Just go slow, give the clipper time to cut. Like when you're, when you're mowing the lawn, if you go too fast, some blades won't get cut. You want to go slow enough that the clipper does has time to do its job. Okay, you can see that it's pretty even across the top now. Just with the number five. Check it out. I did cut a lot of hair off. You can see that. So we're going to do away with the five. Get rid of that. Now I'm going to go to the four, the orange. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go up the sides, not up the top. I'm going to place my hand on top so I don't go past it. You just want to hit the sides with the four. and use a rocking motion. Come out like this when you get to the top.
Okay, lots of hair in that comb. Clean it out a little bit so you can see. This clipper comes with a left and right ear comb attachment. So I'm going to install the right comb attachment. Clip that on. I'm going to go around the ear. I'm going to start from the back and go to the front. What this does, it blends the side. This actually angles, it tapers, it goes from about a two to a number four. So since I used the four on top, this will blend me down to a two on the sides around my ear. See how it's tapered on the side? It goes from a four down to a two. Now we'll remove this clip. Now I've installed the left ear guide comb. You can see that it angles, it tapers the same way from about two to four. Start at the back and go to the front. Okay, that blends it now from a number four up top to a number two on the sides. You can see how it's nice and smooth coming around. Now my sideburns look a little bit thick, so I'm gonna trim those down. First I'll go with the number three, just see what they look like. Yeah, that's good. They were a little bushy. Okay, they were a little bushy, now they're thinned out. Check that out. They're nice and thinned out right there. Everything seems even and I like it a little bit longer on the top. Now I'm gonna take my number two, which is the purple, and I'm just gonna start at the bottom here and I'm just gonna go up a quarter of the way, kind of blending that number four, three, down to a number two. So I'm right at the bottom. And rock out, just rock out with it. Okay, that tapered the very bottom from two up to three and then four up on top. So I've got two, three, four. I had a lot of hair, you can see. There's a lot more hair on the floor, but look how much hair I cut off. Cut off a lot of hair. Now I'll just brush it a little bit, get those stray hairs out. Pretty even all the way around. See how it's centered? Everything is equidistant, nothing sticking out too far. It's pretty even. Now. Remove the guard from your clipper. What you're gonna do now, if you have a little brush, I'm just gonna clean it a little bit, get rid of those stray hairs, unblock the blades. Okay, now what you wanna do, we'll start with the sideburn. You're gonna make a straight line. You can either pick a spot on your ear or just even it up by looking at both sides. Here you wanna invert the clipper. You're actually turning it upside down. Instead of going like this, you're gonna use it upside down like this. Just make a straight line. You can go up as high as you want with that. I wanna make mine even, so make a straight line here. Clean up around the edge of the sideburn. Okay, I'm a little bit low on this side, it'll go up a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, both sideburns are even. Okay, now what you wanna do, trim around your ears. So you're gonna pull your ear down, you're gonna use the very corner of the, the bear clipper with no guard on it, and just go in a circle around.
Same thing on the other side. It's a little trickier with the left hand, but you can do it. Just using the very tip, the corner of the clipper, you go around in a circle. Okay, that's good. Now you want to clean your ears. So you'll clean your ears like this. Turn it both ways. Okay, you removed any stray hairs on the surface of and inside the ears. This is a one and a half comb guard. I'm just going to trim my eyebrows, comb them in the direction they grow, and then go against the grain, lay the clipper flat. Make sure it's on tight because with all this, make sure it's on tight. If it slips off, you're going to remove your eyebrow. You don't want that. Here we go. That's one. Two. Okay, the brows looking good. All right, there you go. You can see that it's pretty even all the way around. Ears are tapered. You can do your nose as well. Remove the guard. Just trim around. And I actually, I'll just go right down my nose. Sometimes you get little stray hairs. I'm careful not to hit my brows. Just use the corner, go straight down. Clean off any stray hairs that you might not even see. And then yes, you can clip your nose hairs if you'd like. Uh, they grow out, so just use the corner. And you don't want to go too deep inside because your nose hairs, they're there for a reason. You know, they prevent bacteria from getting into your lungs. So particles from getting into your lungs, they prevent that. So just go a little bit around the edges. With both corners of the clipper. Now you want to wash your clipper. Make sure you wash it before you trim your dog's hair. You don't want your dog getting mad at you. <laughs> so you've been on lockdown for two or three weeks now. Now you know why every time you open the door, the front door, the back door, your dog tries to run out. Now you know why. <laughs> All right, now the back. You want to get a nice straight line across the back, but it's really difficult to do on your own because when you look in the mirror, you're moving this way, you're really moving that way. It seems like you're moving that way, but you're not. It's opposites. So the best thing to do, if you have a significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, son, daughter, whatever, have somebody come and assist you in lining up the back. I'll get somebody right now. Oh, assistant, can you help me please? Yeah. Look how much hair I took off. Oh, wow. Pretty good, huh? Look at it. It's a lot how, of hair. How does it look? How is it? It's good. It's like Around a little the ears? fluffy. It's a little fluffy on top? Yeah. That's okay. I like it like that. But here, um, straight line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Down. Uh, can you turn to the right just a little bit? Oh, that's it. That works. And feather duster brushes. I got some new ones in today. Really nice ones. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll show you in a minute. Can you, uh, turn that one? Thank you. Okay, pretty good, good. I think. Pretty straight? Yeah. Let me okay. See. Let me see one more time. Just to make sure. Yeah, I think it's pretty straight. All right, my assistant says it's pretty straight. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. I appreciate that. Okay, how did she do? Let's see. Should be a nice straight line there. How does it look? Pretty good? All in all, I think it's pretty good. It is a little longer on top, but I like it like that. I have a little bit of a bald spot back here. 
So I'd like to uh, cover that up a bit. Don't want to show that off, but I think it's a, for a home type job and I'm not a professional, pretty good. Will hold me over until I get to see my barber. All right, I'm good for a few more weeks. Cool. Just dampen it up a little bit. Normally I would wash it. I like this product, the Suavecito hair cream. It just gives it a little bit of hold, some shine, some brilliance, makes it look good. Just one squirt like that and rub that together. And then I just run that through. And I usually don't even, I don't brush my hair. I just, I just do this and that's it. All right, there you go. Final product with a little bit of product in it. The Suavecito hair cream. I went from pretty puffy and overgrown and over the ears and eyebrows and hairs all over the place to looking pretty slick. It's looking pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Definitely not as good as my barber. He's the best. But this will hold me over until I can get there. If you're interested in learning how to shave with a safety razor or a straight razor, Check out some of my other videos. I've got about 200 plus videos describing how to use all these products, how to do it, the techniques and whatnot. Check those out. By the way, click that subscribe button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then click the bell in the upper right hand corner, and then click all. You'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. As Soon as they come out, they'll go right to your inbox. I'll put some links under the video if you want to pick up any shaving equipment, clippers, anything like that. These exact clippers may be out of stock right now, but we will have them back in stock very soon. So check back if they're not there. Just click under there where it says show more. You'll see things there or go to shavenation.com. You can pick up whatever you need. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fatboy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh-oh, looks like I have a 4 o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.